Okay, something very cool here I want to share with you today. Um, I use this application all the time on my Mac. It's called Text Expander by Smile on my Mac. I'm sure any Mac users out there have heard Smile on my Mac. Fantastic software. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I use it for coding and how a very cool feature in the new version 3 that's just been released is just going to save me even more time than it has before. So if you want to check the software out, yeah, here's the website down here, smileonmymac.com uh, forward slash text expander and I'll put that in the show notes but what I'm going to show you here, I'm just going to close the browser so we have, I've just got text edit here and I've got the text expander application notice that text expander 3 is now an application and no longer a preference pane which is very cool because this gives you this nice big window to work with here so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you some snippets that I use. This I'm going to show you the old version and then I'm going to show you the new version. So one that I use a lot is I actually created this snippet here for my action script, but you can use this with any programming language. Um, when every time I create a class in action script, there's a few things I do. I, I have imports, a section for my imports, variables, the constructor function and private and public functions. Now in the previous versions of Text Expander, you could only put a little note in there to, to place the cursor in, in a location. So what would happen is when I type the, the little abbreviation I have here, ASCL, and I'm just going to do it here in Text, text Edit View to see, it will actually put that code in there for me, that, that snippet in there, and puts the cursor, as you can see, right next to class, ready for me to give it a, a class name, you know, my class, something like that. However, you know, then I'd have to go down to here where it says public function, and I'd have to put my class for the constructor name, and then, you know, if I had some other stuff in here, I had some variables that I wanted to put in there, some parameters, you know, I'd, I'd have to go through and do it that way. Well, things just got a whole lot cooler in Text Expander 3. Let me just show you how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to remove that from there and I'm actually going to show you how I construct this. What I'm going to do is remove the old note there and I'm now going to put in this fill in and what's going to happen as you can see it has fill and then name. So what I'm going to do is just so you can see that I'm actually going to change that to class name and, and you'll see why shortly and down here for public function where I would put my constructor I'm actually going to do the same thing again I'm going to put fill in and I'm going to change this one to the same I'm going to put this as class name and again you'll see why I've got both of those the same in a second and one in here I'm going to put in we're going to change this from name to parameters so now we have this this new one here when I go over here, this is so cool, and I now do the shortcut ASCL, it brings up this little dialog box, and, and look at this, you can now put in multiple, you know, you can put multiple entries in here as you're doing this. So class, I'm going to call this, you know, my class, and notice that as I do it, it's filling in my constructor function down here as well, the name for me, my class. The reason being is these are like variable names, as I'm sure developers will be familiar with you know class name and class name they're both the same if I want these to be different you know like here where I have parameters and class name notice it doesn't fill it in so so you can have them separate but since in this case as you're coding you know your your constructor function is going to have the same name as the class I do it as the same so it fills them both in for me at the same time now I'm just going to hit the tab key I'm going to leave that as it is but the nice thing of course here is because they're the same and they update each other if I change this now, I can say, you know what, actually I want to call this my new class. It will actually update up here as well. I'm going to hit tab and go to the parameters. So now I can put in, say, um, let's put in, you know, name of type string. And I'm just going to go OK. And as I do that, look at that. Fantastic. It's created it for me. I've got my new class name there. I've got the public function there, the constructor, and the parameters in there too. So you know, if you're not familiar with Text Expander and you're a developer, you write lots of code, th this is just a must have tool on the Mac. It really is. It saves so much time. And you can use it for a whole bunch of different other things too. But I just wanted to show you this particular, you know, usefulness here for a developer today. And smile on my Mac, all I can say is thank you so much. You have saved me a bunch of time.